Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death where it shows system thread exception not handled. Um, here we can see that this is the file that caused uh, the blue screen of death. Uh, this is going to be some sort of display driver. So to fix this is very simple. If you open up an internet browser and come to this URL, I'm going to paste it in the description as well so you can just click on it. Then if you scroll down to the bottom and click on one of these links to download the application, uh, it downloads as a zip file, so just right click and do extract. extract. Once it's extracted, double click on this file here. It's going to extract some more files again. Uh, so when this file display driver uninstaller appears, just double click on it. And yes, it's advisable to get the update, obviously, it should, should be a bit better, but I'm just going to cancel that now. If you leave that on normal and click on launch, so on the right hand side here, if you select what driver you've got if, for the video driver, so if you've got NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, select the relevant one. Uh, once you've selected it, if you do here, clean and restart. So what that's going to do is it's going to completely uninstall uh, the driver and all the files from your system. It will then restart your system and what that will do is it will just basically completely wipe the driver from your system. Then once you've restarted your machine and come back to the desktop, if you click on start and type in device manager. And if you just find your display adapter, it should be under here or it's possibly under other devices. And if you just do update driver, uh, you can start by doing automatic because it might go to the internet and download the latest driver. If it doesn't find anything there, you'll have to manually go to your manufacturer's website, you'll have to download the file and then you'll have to browse to it on your machine and install the driver that way. Uh, but yeah, once you've updated the driver, um, reboot your machine and the problem will be fixed. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.